Hello everybody, this is Joey Apple 31 here, and I'm bringing you another episode of Football Manager 2016, Southampton Save. Um, in the last episode we played Chelsea and we got thrashed, and in this episode we're going to play Watford. I know I said that we play Norwich, but, you know, we're playing Watford. So, um, as you can see on the screen, I'm showing you the past results. We played Bournemouth, and we won 3-1. Pretty easy victory in this match. Um... Ward Prowse and Tadic scored in the match, so it was a pretty good, pretty good game. Good win for us. Um, we needed it. Um, then in the next game, um, Vorskla in the uh, Europa League playoff, we won three one. Once again, uh, Tadic scored and Jay Rodriguez got a double, and that was away. So um, that was a handy win there. Um. And this one against Leicester, we lost 3-1, Victor Wanyama scoring our only goal, um, and James Vardy scoring 3 for a Leicester, so we got beaten pretty pretty convincingly there. And this second leg against Voskla, um, Jay Rodriguez scored again, and Sadio Mane scored the second goal in the 44th minute to get us a 2-1 win and a 5-2 win on aggregate. So now we are playing in the Europa League. I'll show you the uh, the draw we got if the load. Uh, here we go. So we are in Group F alongside uh, TSKA Moscow, uh, Victoria Plzen, and AS Monaco. So not an easy group, but you know we might we might get through. Um, and we're in here with teams like Liverpool, Villarreal. Tottenham, Schalke, Napoli, um, there's Borussia Dortmund, um, Ajax, and a couple other big teams from competitions right around the world. Um, so we, yeah, that's what happened in between episodes. Also what happened in between episodes is, um, we signed someone new, we signed Ashley Cole. Um, you know, the, the legend from Chelsea, um, we, uh, we signed him, can I do something here, I'm trying to, um, I don't think we can, we're going to have to, um, wait till the next, um, until the transfer windows ends, which is a couple of days, um, so, um, yeah, we'll have to wait. Till then, before we are, before we are able to start using him, because he's currently unregistered. But we can register him after the uh, end of the transfer window. So um, we are um, we are playing against Watford. Um, a win here would do us some good, since we are um, we've won. One and lost two, so as you can see, we're currently 17th. So a win would push us all the way up to possibly ninth if we can get a decent win here. But I don't think we'll get that big of a win. Um, so it's a team looking fairly decent. We might have a bit of a struggle here, but you know, it's still early days in the season. We can still come back and win. And Hang on a second, before I do that, I was just, uh, just have to fix that up. So, um, the game's on the way, um, we are the, the green circles, Watford are the yellow circles. So if you're wondering, um, who we are, that's, that's who we are, we are the yellow ones. As you can see, we're still 17th, even with that point that we get. Um, regardless of winning or losing, well, we get the point if we draw, since we're currently tied, that's the league table as it is right now. Um, oh great, hang on a second, Jay Rodriguez has suffered, possibly suffered a facial injury. So it looks like we're going to have to sub someone in. And Tadic looks like the man that will have to come in. Um, but that's okay, because Tadic can score goals, and that's... That's important for our chances of surviving in the Premier League this season. And Matthew Target's been error-prone. God. 
while wasting a couple of early substitutions on players that should not be substituted out. But it looks like the first half here is quite uneventful at the moment. Um, 43 minutes in, this is the first highlight that we've got since the, uh, the start of the match. Maya to Wanyama. Wanyama gets to tackle by Gerardo. Ibarbo, back to Gerardo. Dini. Ibarbo has found the gap. He'll take the shot, but he misses it. And uh, it's a goal kick to us. And that appears to be probably the only highlight of the half was that near near miss from um from Watford but we can um we can possibly come back and, and win this match. It's um it's not out of the cards by any means. Um yeah. So hopefully the second half's a little bit more eventful. Um Watford get the ball hold by Sabarami. We get the tackle there. Um, okay, we got a free kick. Ward Prowse stuff that up. The duel to Maya. Maya gets it to Tadic. Tadic's not in goal scoring position there. Back to Maya. Back to Clazy. Tadic gets the ball. He's going along the sideline. Long gets in, but he he doesn't quite get to the ball. They hands the corner though, and Maya doesn't quite get it. But Clazy. To Cedric, and that's the end of the play. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's not looking good for the match in the terms of um of us winning. If we can get a goal here at some point in the second half, we will be able to um we'll be able to pull out. Maybe a win, get those three points, and that'll put us up to 10th, pushing Liverpool back down. Um, but it, oh, here we go, here's a chance. Maya to, throws it into Wanyama, that's a long throw, and Mane doesn't quite get to the ball. And Watford get the ball back, but Kolka gets the ball to Kellenberg. Out to Wanyama, doesn't quite get to the ball, Cedric. To Long. Long doesn't get there, and this is not looking good for us. Diamante. Holbass, he's got the ball. It's n looks like Watford might have a go, and he's missed it. He might have been offside anyway, but... Who knows? And it looks like Ward Prowse might be our final, our third final substitution. He's not looking good here. Um... So we'll get him off, and Wanyama gets handed the yellow. Mane, this is a good chance. Mane should... Ooh, Cedric whips in across Romelu, scores the goal, the super sub. Oreo Romelu, 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 Romelu. Comes on for Ward Prowse and scores the goal that we needed to, uh, to score. Two minutes of injury time has been added, and it looks like we might get a chance to uh, put this one beyond doubt. Mane gets the ball, back to Cedric, gets the cross in, and doesn't get quite to Tadic. One Yama, out back to back to uh, Cedric, into Mane, and oh, we almost had a second goal there, and that would have put the game beyond doubt. But now they still have a chance to uh, equalise, and it's not looking too likely. We get the throw in. Ramu. Back to Stekellenberg. Kicks all the way out, getting close to Long. And that's a foul on Long. And that's the game. So, Watford nil, Southampton 1. That's a good win for us. We, we could have done a little bit better, maybe got 2 nil, but... You know... It's not bad. Three yellow cards though, and Oriol Romu as our as our sole goal scorer. And it did it did look like a draw for the majority of that match, but we got the win. Um, and West Ham beat Norwich in the other game, so uh, that puts them up there as well. So the schedule coming up, we got Norwich in the next match. 
then CSKA Moscow in the first match of the Europa League. Um, we've got a bunch of Europa League games coming up, so some of these may feature as um, live comms. It, um, as you can see, it'll probably be this AS Monaco one. So I'll put that out there. It's AS Monaco that's going to be the next match. So you'll get the first Europa League Group F result and the Capital One Cup third round against the Liverpool. That's another favourable draw. And two big games in Man City and Arsenal coming up. It's not an easy period for us. So getting a win out of one of those two um, is going to be important to us and our fight to win the Premier League this season. But if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and a comment in the section down below. And I will see you in the next video.